you're going to win and you're going to lose in the NFL. It's some of the greatest highs. Touchdown with a minute eight to go. The lowest of lows. That's going to be intercepted. To have a family that just kind of stays neutral through it all, that you know you're going to always have that, allows you to almost have a little bit of peace. How is it for you? It's awful. You always worry about your spouse. So when you see them get a hit and go down, or especially when they're at a away game and you're watching them, you're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. They don't have a cell phone in their pocket. So you can't text and be like, hey. And you can't always believe what you hear because you don't know all the details. And you're kind of left with just a lot of questions about their well-being. Tony Romo underwent back surgery this morning. Kyle Orton will be our starter your health mm -hmm. and your back. How are you doing today? I feel good. I'm getting to a point right now where I can go out and play. It's been a good off season. I've been able to train and do a lot of stuff that's helped me improve and just keep ramping it up here. And hopefully in two weeks, I'll be hundred percent. Considering the fact that you do have a family at home, did you ever have any thoughts of, do I want to risk any other damage? There's never a thought about not coming back, you know, I'm chasing a dream and a goal, and I'm gonna do everything I can and probably sacrifice my back and some ribs in the process. But that's what makes it great. When you finally get all the information, the details, and it's surgery and it's time, you know, you kind of just do it. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, but just, it's gonna be done, we're just gonna get through it, we're gonna do it, and you're gonna come back stronger. How much time do you feel you have left to play this game? I'll be able to play for a while. There are way too many cases where you see people um, come back. Troy Aikman had it, they won a Super Bowl the same season. Joe Montana comes back and wins two Super Bowls. They had the same surgery. Do you ever think about legacy? It comes down to winning a championship. I think everybody knows that that's what we're judged by. That's why you play the game. You know, I have a firm belief that we're gonna do that. And I firmly believe that our football team is taking the steps to be in that position, whether it's this year or it takes two years or three. And I think that's because we're doing things a little bit different. I'm excited about that. Normally when we talk to you, you never seem too high, you never seem too low. How do you guys deal with the criticism? People are really nice to your face. <laughs> I'm going to you leave in front of that much. It's actually it's, a really nice thing. I think you just learn that it's part of the job. So if you hated Romo last week, you better respect him today. When you lose, you're not very good. When you win, you're really good. I think, um... I think it's easy to come home and see your kids, you know, and just hear them shouting in the background like that. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> if it was me in your shoes, I would probably like cry every day. <laughs> but he does such a good job of handling it. As a wife, it's so hard because you want everybody to love your spouse as much as you love them. I feel as though it's provided me with a lot of comfort to be able to just know um, you're giving a hundred percent and then some in football that's going to end one day and those highs that you get from that uh, are hard to duplicate your family and when you have that you, you can kind of still get that you just uh, get them in a different way what game does dad play for <laughs> oh, it's good job a big one when you're young is just showing your kids that you love them that you're there for them your kids just sense time they don't really know much else you know when they're real little so if you're just around and you're spending time with them, that's, that's what they know. You know. It's just a great blessing to know that they're not going anywhere. They're always going to be there. They're going to love you. And uh, you don't have to necessarily win or lose to gain their affection. 